All right, I'm going to get straight to the point here. I've made some crazy modifications. Um, they were necessary. There were things that irked me that I had in here that I just simply I needed to replace. I'm just gonna go quickly just showcase what I've done so far. If you're not familiar, this is Hyper Dragon Ball Z. This is a custom-made build. I built it from the ground up. As you can see, it has a plethora of new animations. It has new bells and whistles, a completely overhauled character select roster, and a lot of modernized or improved work. Hold on, let me go check my, my options. Uh, let's turn off the time. Yeah, that's fine. Save it out. You'll immediately notice I also have a filter on, which completely removes the pixelation. Not a fan of pixel art. Never, never liked pixel art. Only because it just reminds me of the um, gives me PTSD from being restricted to you know playing systems with uh, limitations like Game Boy and Nintendo. I just hated counting squares. You'll immediately notice an outstanding change that I've made here is our move trunks. Trunks uh, is base form only. Super Saiyan Trunks is still there. To the left of Trunks is now a playable Brawly. I did some heavy modifications to Brawly's button set. I'll just showcase it. Oh, also, there's like 20 plus more stages added um, to my game too. That I'll I, I don't showcase stages. Just take my word for it. There's a lot more stages. So the first thing you'll notice about my Brawly is that I modified his scale. He's a lot smaller now. He's he's more accurate height-wise to what he he looks like in the show. Uh, aside from that, I also tweaked his button set. Now he has a six button set. Um, light, medium. There's his spears. That's, that was his punches. Here's his light kick, medium kick, and the spears kick. So now he has a six button set. And it also applies to when he's crouching too. He's, he's just been completely overall to um, be not only playable, but a viable character now. Aside from that, I went through his command list and I simply modified all of his attacks so that they properly link with each other. So now Brawly is capable of doing some pretty crazy combos. It's kind of short on life there. Alright, uh, I'll, I'll show you the of combo. This is one. And I missed that. Um, what's another one? Okay. Sorry, I have to like. Okay, he first of all, this this the kit Goku's too weak. Let's pick someone stronger than uh than Goku here, so I can demonstrate properly. All right, let's pick. I think SS2 can can stomach a few shots. I'm just showing examples of my combos properly linking here. Okay. Okay. Okay, there's a combo link. Um, I actually have to sit here and think. There's another combo link. That's a three-shotter. Uh, let's try some fancy. There you go. It caught him out the air. Yeah, but you get the point. Normal Brawly has been heavily um, modified to have combo potential now. He's so fun to play with. That aside from the scale change, I think he fits perfectly in this roster um in a second i'm going to showcase actually a handful of characters that i personally modified that are ripped from other 2d fighting games that blend seamlessly with hyper um here's an example here which is Bar bardock just gonna well let's back out here versus mode i want to pick Bar bardock first and then he's gonna fight goku Goku's a good, um, he's a nice consistent example. Just to show how, uh, how the modified characters fit in. So here's my Bardock. As you can see, I made some scale changes. I made him much shorter so that he's more consistent with Goku. And I also fixed his palette. Although his cell shading was a little too complex, so he didn't properly blend in with the game. But as you can see here, with these slight modifications, he's perfect, man. I also changed over his moveset too. He is a six button character now. As you see here, I modified his combo potential too, so that he can um, do some pretty fancy stuff. As you can see there, and um, yeah, he just he, he's perfect. So now Bardock is in the Hyper DBZ. 
try to give a few more examples here of uh, characters that just blend seamlessly. With, of course, a few tweaks, but these, these are characters that they just perfectly blend. So here's Raditz. You'll immediately notice for Raditz, the first thing I tweaked for Raditz was his palette. His palette is completely overhauled here. I reduced his cell shading, took out some of the more complex work that was put into the sprite that separated his style-wise, and then I also modified his scale. So now he's a lot shorter and wider in stature, and he just, he's flawless, man. It's just freaking, he blends so well with Hyper now. Um, aside from that, I also modified his move list, of course. I um, chained up quite a few of his attacks so that he has more combo potential, and this is the end result, man. It's like, this, this is amazing, bro. But yeah, Hyper DBZ Raditz in the flesh, y'all. Who's another example? Uh, I think Nappa. Na I tweak Nappa too. I I'll showcase Nappa here. You better show me a real good As you can see for Nappa, he's got the same modifications. I completely reworked his palette. So that is more consistent with the cell shading of Hyper DBZ. I also modified him scale wise to make him a lot wider and shorter. So that he, um, you know, so he mixes with the other sprite art. And this is the end result. It's flawless, man. I also overhauled his move list, his command and his, um, his constant. Rather, or, yeah, his command and his constant to basically, you know, make him more viable as a character. As you see, he has more combo potential now. He's just, he's a, he's a welcome addition. Yeah, Hyper DBZ Nappa, man. <laughs> it's just crazy, dude. Trying to think, man. I'm trying to hold back my laughter, man. I'm so stoked. I think this sale is actually from something else. He's not hyper initially. I'll show my hyper sale that I created here. I'm gonna take the first and only round. So this is my hyper DBZ sale. He's got scale modifications. I made him a lot shorter and slightly wider. And I also changed up his palette. His palette had way too many gradients. It just simply did not blend with hyper. I think um, the shading in Hyper works on a three-point cell shading system, meaning the gradient is only separated in three different tones of color. Um, that applies to the skin, uh, armor, etc. The only exception being anything that's crystal or anything that's um, hyper sheen or super super um, smooth armor. A good example is for Shell. Cell. Cell has a three-part gradient added to his armor, specifically the black part. And it's something that's necessary. If I took one of the points out for the shading, it would actually, he wouldn't look right. He'd be too flat. But this is the end result. This is my Hyper DBZ sale. Um, aside from the palette modifications that I've made here, the rescaling, I also modified his move list so that he's viable as a character. As you can see there, he's just, he's fully compatible now. Even his fireball looks like Hyper. And um, yeah, this is the end result. Oh man, there's so much stuff here. There's a lot of characters that I threw in here, like this, for example, Android 21. She's actually not a hyper character. She's from someone named Chojin. That's the uh, the spider. Here's another Chojin style character, which is Kefla from DBZ. There's also characters that I blatantly just put in here that I, I had to, um, I manually modified myself to have a hyper DBZ move list or scheme. And also I had to tweak the art of palette, of course, which is by default. Here's another example. Here's a secret character, um, for example here, there's another secret character. There's a lot of characters that I threw in here that aren't hyper, that I made into hyper characters. I need to showcase another example here. I'll showcase Kefla. Kefla is just, uh, she's going to be my Chojin example. A lot of these characters are, are ripped from, um, I think it's Budokai. Well, it's either Budokan or Budokai. But then there's characters like this that are custom made by spiders like Chojin. And the only modification I really did to this Kefla was her breast. As you see there, she's got breast bounce. And I also modified her hair to be uh, to make her animation for her hair consistent. As you can see with Goku on the right there. See the flow of his hair as he bounced? Kefla's got the same effect. And um, I know there's something else. She blinks. Yeah, yeah, the character blinks. If you look at uh, Kefla's face, you'll immediately know she has a blink animation. Which just adds more, you know, more fluidity and consistency to her sprite work. But that's just an example of something I did. Um, scale work too. I made her shorter. She's slightly shorter than the other uh, default character and wider, wider. 
to be more consistent with Hyper. This didn't result. That of course, um, I, I also added move modifications to just to make her more viable. As you see here, she has a Hyper DDZ playstyle now. And it's so fun to play with her, dude. So cool. Yeah, so uh, I think that's it for this video. I just wanted to cover the, the recent change that I've made which was the complete removal of um, of base trunks from the roster and I replaced him with normal Brawly. Um, the caveat that I have three versions of Brawly on my Hyper. I have this version which is the normal version. I have a boss version which is slightly bigger and he's much stronger than this version that is unselectable. And I also have a Dragon Ball Super version of Brawly which is a boss character too. That meaning you can't select him and he only pops up during arcade mode. Uh, aside from that, there's other characters that are like Brawly, like Jiren. I have this playable normal Jiren, and then I have a boss Jiren, which is a, a totally different version of Jiren that um, is unplayable and much stronger. Which is like a, it's an occurrence with a lot of characters. I have Ozuru, or Ozaru, which is a giant monkey from the show. He's in here too. There's like three different versions of Ozaru in here, which is one that's, um, one that's normal size that just fills up the screen. One that's so large that you can only see his head and torso in the screen. And then I think another normal size one that just have uh, different sprites and different moveset. But that's just an example of the things I have in here. And then also I have secret characters too that I've showcased um, previously I think. Such as the integration of Black Freezer from the manga. He's out in the secret area right next to his, uh, his golden freezer form. As you can see there. And that, that's just, that's a common occurrence. I have like a... Uh, this is Rosé. It's really a Super Saiyan Rosé Black, but uh, I have a merch Zamasu out in the secret area below him, as you can see there. And it's completely done. I completely did the swipe work, which is something I have a knack for doing too, which uh, I'll show you an example here. So I just selected, um, actually I need to back out, that's the wrong one. Let's go down. I'm going to select merge Zamasu, and I'm going to compare him with Goku. Merge Zamasu when he was initially released, which is a common thing in the movement community, he didn't have his sprites done. He was like, he only had his stance sprite done, and all of his regular, his attack, and his, a lot of his base sprites weren't complete. So he was like 10% complete, and then publicly released. I hate when creators do that. But um, for this Merge Zamasu, as you can see here, which I'm showcasing, I completely did all his sprites. As you can see there, I hand drew every sprite on the character. This stage is too bright. Let's go to a better stage. Okay. So, as you can see here, all of his sprites are completely done. Yes, I went in and individually hand drew every sprite for Merge Zamasu. Is that all? And the end result is this. It, it's freaking flawless, man. And it's a common thing that I usually do. I'll go back and modify uh, what I, I call, no offense, crappy Mugen characters that are released in Hyper DVZ community, and I'll just fix them. Here's another example, which is my Super Saiyan Blue Goku, which I think I've shown recently, previously. As you can see there for the intro, for the sprites, completely fixed. He's wearing the proper boots. He has his sleeves actually removed, as you can see here, from his uh from his gi. And uh, speaking of his gi, his belt has the proper stash dangling from the side that he has in the show. Just little things like this you're supposed to do. And as you can see, it's in his attack and sprites too. It's freaking flawless, man. But these these are little tweaks or little things that I'll typically do to a character to completely overhaul and make it right. I'm trying to think, I think that's it. Shout out to Super Saiyan 5 Java, the creator of this character. This guy is insane, man. This is the coolest. This is the coolest um original or OC character I've seen in Dragon Ball, hands down. It's just it's nuts, man. But um yeah, I think that's it, man. I was just showcasing all my recent modifications. Trunks has been removed and replaced with Brawly. Uh, there's a lot of palette overhauls for, for characters that are stripped from games that aren't hyper with DVD. And, of course, move list overhauls to make them consistent. And I think that's it. God bless.